is text for gone bad and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cut out or extract any image from any background. So this is a very useful thing, a very important thing that people need to know, especially people like graphic designers because um, graphic designers need to be able to extract any image from any background, put it on a new background and then apply the, the ba a new, another new background and um, all the effects and all that type of stuff. So this happens to be one of my most commonly asked questions, so today I'm going to be answering all of you guys that ask me that. Um, today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS3 as usual, and the version of Photoshop doesn't really matter as long as it's not like one of those really old ones. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be using CS3. As you can see, I have a picture of me open. Um, I am holding a camera, and no, that's not my camera. People have asked me that before, so I thought I'd let you guys know. It's not my camera. I wish it was my camera. But anyways, I have a picture of me open, so you want to go ahead and open a picture of you or whatever picture you want to extract. Go to File, click Open, and then open up the picture. And then next up, you want to click on Filter and click Extract. Now this is where the main process begins. Uh, the Highlighter tool should already be selected, but if it's not, just go ahead and select it. It's going to be the first tool. <clears throat> and then just basically, um, just go ahead and trace your image. Just trace along the outsides of the image and this is trace around the area that you want to keep in this case I want to keep me and extract the background so I'm going to be tracing around me doesn't need to be perfect but I'm um, trying to do a better job than I'm doing I'm just doing this really fast just so you guys don't have to sit here for an hour but yeah just try and do it a little bit better than I'm doing but you don't need to be perfect and almost done and there you go once you have traced the part of the image that you want to keep go ahead and select the second tool the paint bucket tool and then just click in the area that you want to keep and then it's gonna highlight it blue and that's gonna be the area that you're gonna keep now next up you want to click on preview we're not done yet you don't want to press ok you want to click on preview to see what uh, what it's gonna cut out so click preview and bam just like that the image is cut out and it looks fairly nice but there are some adjustments that we could make some things that we could do to it and to be able to make these adjustments you have to use these two tools um, don't know what they're really called but this one it um, this one it cleans the edges and then this one erases the image it's basically like an eraser tool so I'm gonna go ahead and select the second one the one that cleans up your edges I'm gonna select that and then just go around my edges I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it in the video, but if you do it yourself, and um, you'll probably be able to see that. It's a major difference to the edges. So I'm just going to go around my edges. And almost done. And there you go, that looks pretty good. Obviously you want to spend more time on it than I am, but it looks pretty good and we could choose the eraser tool and just erase some of the stuff like for example over here it left some of it and yeah that is pretty much it um, there's not really much else that we could do to improve this image this has got to be one of the easiest and best ways to cut out your image sure there's more complicated ways that have better results but this is just a really simple way of doing it, it takes less than a minute once you're done just press ok and then it'll apply that to your picture and there you go you have a nice and clean cut now as you can see I have some of the background still in between my legs and right here next to my arm I could just repeat that process and get rid of that background over there and that's pretty much it um, this is the image cut it out it's a nice and clean cut so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope you learned something new today and if you did, please check out my YouTube channel at techsportcombat.com. That will redirect you to my YouTube channel and just subscribe if you like my videos. And also check out my website at octogeek.com. And it's a graphic designing blog. I normally post tutorials and inspiration and sometimes even a giveaway. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, I'll see you guys later.